So uh, first we'll talk about integrated services. And integrated services are basically based on RS, VP resource reservation as a signaling uh, protocol. So, so integrated and integrated services, uh, the number of service classes are designed uh, to meet the needs of different application types. So integrated services um, has number of number of service classes uh, to meet to meet um, the needs of different real-time applications of different applications. Applications or application types. So, uh, so this means, uh, so this means the important thing here is uh, the service class or service classes that integrate services are defined for the different uh, application types. So, what we do we mean by a service class? Service class or service classes. One of service classes for intolerant applications. One, one of service classes for intolerant as is guaranteed service. Similarly, uh, for for tolerant means adaptive uh, adaptive applications. Uh, this service is this service is known as is known as controlled load. Controlled load. OK, and the example of uh, such an application is the audio uh, application uh, that is just playback point uh, on network um, where the delay varies and the loss rate remains on um, or around 10% uh, or less, right? So it's for such an application where the loss rate is 10% or the less, such as uh, the audio application, we can always make use of this controlled load uh, service. Uh, by the way, this control load service, uh, it uses uh, it uses uh, uh, it, it it uses uh, this service use uh, queuing mechanism. Uh, such as weighted pair queuing uh, to isolate the controlled uh, load traffic from uh, uh, from the from uh, from the which fair queuing uh, to isolate to isolate the controlled traffic from the other traffic.
told. Perfect. From weather. Uh, the traffic. And um, and obviously this uh, this 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 needs and uh, uh, this then requires uh, some sort of admission control mechanism. So we need to have some sort of admission control mechanism to limit the uh, total amount of uh, controlled load traffic to keep the uh, load reasonably low. So in a minute we we'll talk about the admission control in detail. So in order to uh, execute integrated services, we need to provide following um, or define following things. Number one, so we need to give away qualitative information and also uh, quantitative information. Quantitative information. So, um, so quality, qual quality information or qualitative information uh, means uh, means uh, means we, I need to use a controlled load service. Means use a controlled load service. So this means uh, an application needs uh, to use a controlled load service, and this will define the qualitative information that is required to implement. Uh, this integrated services and then we have this uh, quantitative information and the quantitative information uh, maybe include that it needs that the application needs uh, maximum uh, maximum delay oh. 100 milliseconds, maybe. Right, so so this will so this will uh, define the quantitative information and uh, the use of a controlled load service uh, by an application will define uh, the qualitative information. The next thing that we need to identify is uh, the flow specs. Flow flow spec. Uh, there are two flow specs uh, that we need to identify. One is known as uh, traffic specifications, and the other is um, called uh, requirement specifications. So, the set of information that we provide to network is referred to the flow spec. So, this is basically set of uh, set of information. Uh, provided to provided to the network, and this includes T spec and R spec. Okay, so this defines the traffic specifications, and this defines R spec. Uh, spec defines the requirement specifications. The third thing which is important here is called admission control. Admission. So, so it's the. So it's the process. Uh, process of deciding. Uh, when. To say, say no. Okay. So when the network is not in a condition to provide a specific service, so um, uh, 
in this way, we need to say no. So we need to uh, uh, also we need to have a mechanism where we can exchange uh, the information between the network elements, the information such as uh, the request of service, close packs, and admission control. So for this, we need uh, at number four, we need to have uh, some sort of uh, signaling. So why do we need signaling? So we need signaling um, um, to exchange. It's to exchange the information between network elements, information such as uh, flow specs, Um, admission control okay and um, uh, for this we need a signaling protocol and this signaling protocol is known as or this process is called resource reservation resource reservation and this signaling is done by resource reservation protocol. The fifth element in order to implement um, integrated services is called packet scheduling. So in, uh, we need to manage uh, the way packets are queued and scheduled for transmission in the switches and Router. So the, this mechanism is called packet so scheduling. We have already covered this in it in detail in the previous lecture. So uh, the packet scheduling uh, is required to manage to manage the way packets are. Packets are queued and scheduled for transmission. Great. So, uh, so these five uh, steps will complete. Um, uh, will help us in completing the implementation of integrated services. So first of all, we need to provide the uh, qualitative information and quantitative uh, information where the qualitative information uh, identifies the control board service or any other type of service and the uh, quality quantitative service identify the uh, the delay that an application can afford to have, then we need to identify flow spikes. So I'll be talking about the flow spikes in a minute. So these are basically uh, 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 this includes basically the uh, traffic specifications and requirement specification that we need to provide to network. And then obviously uh, we need to decide that a network can uh, provide service to a specific application considering its requirement. For that, we need to have admission control. And then we need to exchange information between the user and the network elements. Uh, for that, we need some sort of signaling um, protocol that is also called resource reservation and the uh, protocol RSVP and the process is known as resource reservation. And at, uh, at in the end, um, the, the last step is to have some sort of packet uh, scheduling to manage the way the packets are queued and scheduled for transmission. 